everyone uh, welcome to day of slower youtube channel so this video i am making very, uh, after very long time so today we are going to discuss about uh, something related to day ops what tools and technologies we should learn as part of day ops so uh, before starting with learning day ops you should be clear with what is day ops and why i should do day ops so uh, Ideally, you should have idea about how the SDLC is working, and uh, then what is the role of every DevOps engineer. Correct. So in SDLC, there are multiple processes. Like you should be having the build of your application, then uh, your QA processes is there, and after that, you are deploying it on production. So this particular flow should be clear with you uh, before starting with DevOps and. Uh, in simple word, uh, the DevOps is something everything you are automating for your DevOps cycle. So in online or on Google, you will get lot of definition for the DevOps. But in simple words, you can think about uh, the DevOps is only uh, like automation for SDLC. So in SDLC, lot of processes are, are there uh, for your application. Like build is there, then QA processes is there and the deployment is there so in this particular journey you have to work with multiple uh, tools and uh, for that particular tools we are calling devops tools so uh, the tools are nothing but you you should have idea about the github so git is something for the source code management system so where all developers are committing the code there are multiple branches and uh, in day to day life for every uh, feature development, you are committing that particular code base on the GitHub. So uh, that particular tool is mainly used for managing the uh, code base. After that, uh, uh, in, in DevOps Infra, you need to have uh, uh, some central location where everyone can build their particular application and deploy it. So for that, in uh, DevOps infrastructure, we are use, uh, using the Jenkins. So uh, Jenkins is the second tool uh, which you want, which you should learn. So uh, the Jenkins, uh, there are multiple alternatives for Jenkins as well. Like GitHub Action is there, then Bitbucket is there, uh, which uh, uh, teams are using. But uh, in multiple organizations, Jenkins is something the standard tool right now, uh, which they are utilizing for uh, the CI and CD stuff. So uh, CI, CI is something continuous integration. So continuous integration, you can understand like whenever there are any commit happening happen happen on uh, the particular code, uh, it should start the build automatically, and uh, your test cases should be run automatically. So that that's nothing but the continuous integration then uh, continuous deployment is the further step it's like the whenever there are commit happen for your particular code base your application should be uh, in that position like it should be able to deploy in the production if every checks are passed uh, for that particular application so to achieve the ci cd uh, you can utilize the multiple tool sets uh, git and jenkins we already discussed but in uh, jenkins you can integrate multiple other tools as well uh, so sonar cube is there for uh, having the static code analysis then wall tool you can use for having uh, the secret management stuff uh, also, you can integrate the Maven for building your application. So Maven or Gradle, that are something, uh, the application which is used for uh, the build related purpose. So that you can utilize in your Jenkins automation flow. So in Jenkins, there are a support for adding multiple stages. So we can add uh, the Jenkins file and we can add the multiple uh, stages for that particular application. So that is supportable in Jenkins. And uh, in Jenkins also thousands plus plugins are there, which we can integrate easily and uh, we can add uh, multiple supports for that particular integration. So uh, 
this is very powerful uh, tool and uh, via that we can easily integrate the ci cd for our particular applications in this upcoming videos we are going to learn about these all tools which we discuss right now for a few of the tools i have already uploaded that particular videos on my youtube channel so you guys can uh, go through on that particular uh, videos I, I will share that links of uh, uh, these devops tools in uh, the description uh, you guys can check that and you can start learning uh, the devops so you can start your journey uh, in the uh, in the devops uh, so a uh, few of the tools we already discussed like jenkins sonar cube then dependency track uh, the vault as well for security purpose all these tools uh, we can utilize vault then dependency track and anchor anchor is somewhere uh, you utilize for the docker vulnerability so uh, i have previously created that particular video on how we can integrate the docker scanning uh, by using anchor so uh, that also available on my youtube channel so uh, uh, it can be uh, also integrated with Jenkins and we can uh, scan our Docker uh, vulnerabilities and uh, we can easily check the reports like how many uh, vulnerabilities are there uh, with this particular tool. So uh, I hope you got uh, the particular idea like how we can integrate CI and CD uh, for our organization or for our applications. So application can be having uh, any any type uh, your application can be have the code base with the c language or go language or the java language so uh, for uh, jenkins pipeline integration we can do it easily based on uh, creating that particular environment and uh, there are two ways for having the jenkins pipeline like syntactical uh, uh, jenkins pipeline library and uh, there is another way like declarative jenkins pipeline so both uh, with the both way uh, you can integrate your uh, pipelines and add the code base with the jenkins file and after that you can start your workflow like adding multiple stages with uh, that particular code base and build your jobs so that is uh, uh, available with uh, the Jenkins and via these plugins and administration uh, you can handle that with uh, easy way. So Jenkins is providing all these capabilities for handling the multiple tools and technologies and uh, the plugins integration in better way. So uh, 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 the Jenkins is something rec recommended tool for using it and organization. So uh, then uh, coming on uh, the administration part, so while having this DevOps infra, so you have to work with a lot of tools and technologies, uh, multiple tools we already discussed in uh, the previous part of this video. Uh, in this, you have to handle uh, the backup and uh, the administration part as well as user access related part in better way, as well as monitoring, I would say. So monitoring, then the administration, backup, and uh, the user access control. So all these four uh, things you have to handle with the better uh, way. And there should be some best practices uh, you should have implement for having this particular infra. So uh, while uh, integrating this particular tool, you need to make sure that like you have that particular best practices you have enabled in your system and uh, you have to manage that with very effectively. So DevOps is not only like uh, learning these particular tools, integrating one or two jobs and uh, build the pipeline and uh, uh, that's only the stuff of the DevOps. Actually, uh, as a DevOps engineer, you need to make sure that you are uh, having visibility on entire this particular thing your build should be happen with uh, an uh, optimized way. There should be no vulnerability in your uh, images. Uh, your uh, deployment is working as uh, effectively. There is no any uh, errors are happening or user is not facing multiple issues with the build and deployment that you need to take care. So uh, 
so before starting with this means uh, learning as a devops related thing uh, you need to be understand what is devops uh, and what are the tools you have to learn and how the best practices you can integrate uh, in your devops infra so uh, you can just go over on my previous videos where i have created uh, some multiple videos on every of these particular tools you can get uh, the idea about how the vault work how the anchor work how the dependency track work or how the jenkins work uh, uh, or the kubernetes as well so few videos i have make on the kubernetes so uh, you can start learn uh, each of these particular tool and uh, you can also understand how this tool is integrated with each other uh, so uh, this you can uh, just uh, connect connect these particular dots and start with integration so in upcoming videos i am going to add few more videos on uh, uh, how uh, this uh, uh, entire pipeline work how this integration work and how uh, what are the challenges we face uh, uh, during the integration and how we can overcome with that with the better uh, coding practices or better devops practices so i hope uh, uh, in the current video you understand like uh, what are the uh, basic things uh, you should learn as an devops engineer and uh, before starting with devops what things you should be clear uh, with the uh, in your mind like uh, the devops processes devops definition then continuous integration and continuous definition sdlc processes and and the best practices correct so uh, i hope uh, you like this video uh, let's do uh, uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed the channel thank you